And our top story this afternoon, of course, has to do with some big news about the Buffalo Bills. Just about an hour ago, Governor Andrew Cuomo announced that fans will be allowed in the stands for the first playoff game at Bills Stadium. We are expecting to also hear from Erie County Executive Mark Polencars to talk about this decision around 415. So when he starts talking, we'll bring that to you live. Two on your sides, Dave McKinley also listened in on the governor's announcement this afternoon. He joins us live now with more. Hey, Dave, what did he have to say? Well, it's going to be a limited number of fans, Kelly, about 6,700 who will be allowed in for the Bills' first playoff game. Now, like at other stadiums throughout, <clears throat> that's just our umbrella, folks. I apologize for that. Like at other stadiums throughout the NFL who have allowed for fans to come in, uh, you're going to have to wear a mask if you're one of those chosen. You're going to have to sit spaced apart in designated pods throughout the game and of course no tailgating before or after that game. We are also, if you're chosen to be among the 6,700 to get tickets, you'll have to take a COVID-19 test and the results will have to come back negative for you to be allowed in and here with state officials saying more about how that's going to work. Bioreference will be conducting tests uh, in the two days prior to the event uh, for 13 hours each day um, in the parking lots, drive through testing, um, and those results will all be back before game day. On game day, uh, fans will have to show evidence of a negative test. The, the team will also have uh, the results from the tests. They then will have to go through a separate checkpoint where they'll have to show the tickets to enter the stadium. So here's a, here's a question, though, that uh, remains that we can't answer for you right now, and that's a big question indeed. Who's going to get to go? Well, state officials didn't have an answer for that, but the Buffalo Bills are expected to address that and other matters with reporters at 4.30, so we'll have an update for you on this developing story coming up at 5. For now, live in downtown Buffalo, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News. All right, Dave, thank you.